Joining us now to discuss the political ramifications of these new mammogram recommendations is Jonathan Allen, congressional reporter for Politico. Good morning. Good morning. So if the panel does not dictate policy, why are they releasing recommendations like this? Well, they put out the recommendations and then those recommendations could be used by government agencies or could be used by private insurers to make their coverage decisions. Now, we heard from Secretary Sebelius that the part she controls, which is the government programs, Medicaid, Medicare, uh, will not be changed by, uh, by this particular finding. And we've heard from insurance companies already, a pretty good PR move at a time for them when they're getting bashed a lot. They've come out and said uh, that they're not going to change their coverage decisions uh, based on this. So what we're seeing right here is actually sort of the system working I think a little bit which is you've got the study com coming out and then you've got the politics uh, and the way people feel about the numbers uh, actually dictating what happens with them. And so how is this going to factor into the health care reform debate? Well, already you've seen Republicans using it as a cudgel to beat Democrats up and say, look, some of the things you want to do in health care involve uh, outcomes research that involve biostatistics. Um, and if you're doing this with uh, a study like this on breast cancer, that'll be applied to all other sorts of health care. But again, as I said, I think we're getting a model here where we see that the, uh, that the feelings of the American public, that when, when people are upset by the findings of a study, the political action is pretty swift to prevent that from actually becoming policy. What do you make of the time? timing of this release of information? Uh, my guess is that it's incidental. I mean, it's probably not a great thing for the Obama administration in terms of trying to move its health care bill, but, uh, my, but I think this was something that was a long time coming. What kind of reassurance do we really have? I know uh, today Sebelius, uh, as you mentioned, was talking about how the insurance companies will not change their coverage, but what kind of reassurance do the American people have that that's going to be the case? Well, they, they have the insurance companies starting to say that that's going to be the case. Of course, they can change those decisions at any time. And if they believe uh, that, most, that, that most of the people that want to buy their coverage don't want to cover mammography between 40 and 50, you could obviously see that changing over time. But, you know, this is a, uh, this is a deeply personal issue. Uh, everybody knows somebody who has breast cancer. Uh, most people have people in their families, a mother, a sister, a daughter, a wife. Um, and so it's, it's one of those issues that uh, I think um, comes a lot more alive than most do on, uh, in terms of statistics on a page. Absolutely. All right. Jonathan Allen, congressional reporter for Politico. Jonathan, thank you. Take care.